Hey guys, it's Tax finally making this beginner's guide slash progression in anime world tower defense. And so a lot of you guys are confused on how to actually start the game and what to focus on. So to make this more relatable and more achievable, I will be limiting myself to this rule set. So pause the video if you need to read everything, but also forgot to mention, this is still possible trait list not being able to macro and all that stuff you'll just have a harder time and it will take longer and to move on i'll be showing you guys on stream right now all the banners and units that i prioritize pulling so continuing on from that to add on some little spicy little information both the banners and skin shop are different on every public server with private servers only being the ones synced up to each other so enough of my yapping enjoy the rest of this progression and guide all right cutting in since i forgot to mention why i got these characters so starting off with isei i'm gonna be completely honest he was only there for the leader skill nothing more nothing else like you're gonna replace him after you get either Rudius or you know evolved since they both have better leader skills than them and they are actually useful compared to Issei. Plus after removing Issei you'll be saving yourself a free slot to put any other characters that you want Evo for clear stages. So next up Rudius. Now this guy is the backbone for this entire progression. Like both his pre-Evo and Evo are amazing. Both being full AoE, multi-hit, Great characters, which will help you in Metal Rush when grinding gold and other stages. So he's mainly just there just to be the carry for the team, but you could replace him with any other characters. So moving on from Rudius, we have Misaka from Toru. So she just has a lot of support of utility, having a slow, a knockback, and stun all in one character. So her upgrade one through three, she has a uh, good slow with good coverage she has a circle stun which is pretty sure paralysis upgrades i think four through six and then her last two upgrades are a skinny knockback line so she's great for your early damage farming team or a great support for early damage farming before you get the trio of noel jaku demon and dark flame lover but that's mainly it for her and then moving on to the Peem replacement, which is Unahana. Since I don't have access to Peem because of my restrictions, she was literally the only option I had, being a cleanse and a heal. And then for your two DOT characters, you have Maki from Soul Eater or Reaper Gormilla and Nezuko. So these two characters are just really cheap dot characters and they outperform their cost and investment to evolve. Honestly, these two work hand in hand together since Demon Flame and Bleed are a great combination. Then moving on, as I mentioned, Noel, she's just part of the main beginner's damage farming team, part of the Holy Trinity, being Dark Flame Lover, Kenjaku Demon, and her. But that's only when you get her plus plus. So honestly, the highest investment character in this entire progression was Noel. And then lastly, Denji. So the only reason why I didn't put L, L is too expensive in my opinion, and I would just rather use Denji since he just has a lot more usage than L as a beginner farm since he scales off of time instead of waves. And then, of course, last thing before I go, every rare is obtainable through any banner and don't try to attempt most stages on Nightmare. You can do the infinite game modes and idle stage for the materials on Nightmare. So yeah, that's mainly it, and I'll see you guys whenever I cut in again. So since I'm going to be dying soon, uh, I already rolled traits and accidentally macroed on this account. So thanks to me accidentally macroing on this account, I have a crap ton of resources for Demon Hearts and all that. So just to make it fair, I'm just going to be grinding up more gold for future Evos. But you should be doing this anyways right after you get the team. But honestly, it was my bad for doing this. So you should just farm a proper amount of gold where you can get all your characters maxed out on the team. And then after that, you can start rushing for a certain evo which you have to do story for which is rudius all right cutting in again just to clarify my statement of accidentally macroing so i did do another six hour session after my accidental macro incident 
for the sole purpose of releasing the video as soon as I possibly can. But moving on, after you guys finish maxing out the team, start working on clearing the first story stage, just so you have the stage to get the necessary material to evolve Rudius. And then after you do that, you can start farming for idol. I'm not even gonna lie, this grind takes way too long. I like, I might buy 3x. Actually, I am going by 3x, so this video can come out a bit faster. Because my god, this takes way too long. Plus, 3x is pretty cheap, so it is worth it. Please just kill me now. There we go. So I'll be back when I have more runs done again. First evolution, baby. First evolution. I can finally evolve. Rudius. Ray Rat. It's like a dream. Oh, damn. No, I was gonna, I was gonna say something, but I was done and over with. So, the biggest carry of this entire thing. Rudius. Now, we go for idle. And after idle, we just work on Power Reaper. And Unahana, because I can, for heals. And then clear story. So, I'll be back when I get idle. All right, just finished doing all the stages needed to evolve Oshi or I. Yeah, if I remember correctly, Idol from Yosobi is copyrighted, but it is what it is. We got her now. Yay! So our next target is probably going to be Power Reaper. So we immediately have that 130 lead, which is going to take a while, like a very long time. So I'll be back whenever I have any type of progression done. Or I might go for Dark Flame Flutter. Just really depends. So I'll be back when I get any of that done. All right, just interrupting the video again, just to show you guys how I did the clear stages for EVO requirements. So I just went to the first story and just did the just finished it since it is five waves only and very short. You don't need to place the characters to consider it as a clear stage. They just have to be in your hotbar or on your team. And then you just simply just clear the stage, place your characters, clear the stage, and you're done. That's practically it. I was struggling beyond story because I don't have a hill care hill unit. Uh, I'm just uh I just wanna get Power Reaper done and call it call this part of the recording over. Call it a day. My god. Where's where's you now? My blind? Just there we go. That is you know done. So I'll actually be back when I have Power Reaper done since I'm just extremely tired. So I get over with so there probably won't be as many clear stages done because I just don't feel like recording them just how I was with doing you know off camera but I'll be back Oh my god, another Evo done being the dot character that I need. Uh, where is the where is she? So tired dude. I'll be five in the morning, but Oh Maki Folger's done. I know I didn't show footage for any of the hollow shards, but I don't wanna bother. I did bother for the but this stage is because it's waiting until I die. He's done. Now I can properly work. Probably work. Get him done and then get the two damage farming characters I need to get. So I'll be back when I get um power reaper this time, hopefully.
Bro, I can finally go to sleep. I'll be six in the morning, man. Oh, by the way, to clear the stage, you can use a uh, railgun girl from Giant Railgun, whatever that anime is. Forgot her name. She's honestly better than Giyu, but I don't have her. She is going to be part of the priority list, but I do not have her. So if you have Giyu instead, you can run Giyu, but let me craft the very last um, thingy me bobber. Where are my bulk medals? Okay, this time. I know I have enough materials. So. <laughs> I forgot this guy had a cutscene. Forgot. Bro had a cutscene. But we did it, boys. Second miracle rare, rare indie bag. Feels good. Feels good. I am Max L being him also. Because it's going to be one of my main damage dealers. And I'm running out of gold slowly. But a final, I mean final, new career I'm going to be making is this guy. He's going to give the damage and the orbs, which should be easy. So I'll be back when I get that done. Actually, I can probably craft all these. So it's probably just going to be the damage and the orbs. So I'll be back when I get it done. Not gonna lie, kinda need to stop leaping in, even though it's nice. Gotta stop doing that, because it's literally hindering me on finishing this higher thing. So, NG, now oh, done. I crafted the rest of the demon bullets and demon bullets from like her materials that I got. Oh. The reason why you want to evolve Denji is so you can do this you can reroll stats you can max limit break them do recommend max limit break like if you only have five limit breaks limit break your dungeon it is very very important to limit break but you just scam up so if you have until you get max attack and max cost that's all you need probably skip over this but your next goal or my next goal in my opinion honestly would just be going for the core damage farming team being dark flame lover jacku demon and lastly noel plus plus noel plus plus is going to probably be the hardest but at least Kenjaku Demon and Noel Plus Plus will be like the major important things. Dark Flame Lover is easy for me now because I can somewhat of this girl. You can do practically everything. She has a stun, slow, and knockback. She's not hybrid, but she'll solve the grounds enough for me. And I have Power Reaper for rewind to grip them all up at the end. So yeah, that's practically my pseudo damage farming until I get the core team. But I'll be back whenever I get that done. Okay, back with the green. Now I can actually evolve Unahana. There we go. Should be the first one to know why I've mastered. Oh. Well, I'm too slow of a breeder, so. Sucks to suck. But that is Unahana, guys. Uh, I am done. I have the second main component for damage farming done. Well, not really. The, the one and only component for my damage farming team finish. Just Dark Flame Lover. Oh, uh, please don't have a cutscene. Or pass the finally crashed at last. Yes, sir. Now, next up is either probably Noel or Kenjaku Demon. So I'll see you guys whenever I have one of them. Actually, for those, actually, before I go, for anyone who doesn't know how to get Kenjaku Demon's Raid, you go to the Raid section, and you just spam Refresh on it until you see a certain raid. So, hold up. Should be coming up at any moment real quick. It's below the Spider Raid, like a 10% chance. There it is, Kenjaku House, right here. So, for this, you do need a healer. You could beat this with Unevolved, Unahana, but evolved Unahana would be recommended. But yeah, this is what you would need. You just need to do this and just do it on Nightmare if you can do it on Nightmare. Usually try to do it on Insane just so you have an easier time. But yeah, I'll be back when I actually do this. Finally! Oh my god, I had to go to Insane because I can't do Nightmare consistently. Thank God, the first nightmare, I mean, insane run that I do, I get him. So, let's see what bro takes. 
All right, back into the lobby. Let's see what can Jaku Demon Boy take. A lot, a lot. Okay, not as much as I thought he would take. So it's just gonna be a lot of dark farming. So that's not as bad. I was just gonna use him as the lead for damage farming, but I'll be back whenever I get him done. All right, I have all the orbs for Jaku Demon. Let me go find the Jaku Demon Boy. Yep, I have all the orbs, just need the gold. Then this, I'm probably going macro just like for a tiny bit, not too much, hopefully, because I just want to get this video out as soon as possible. But there's one character that I forgot to evolve, it's Noelle, and I crafted the from leftover materials. But let's see what she'll need for her plus plus, because she is literally the last character I'll be needing for damage armor. 55 billion 15k seven pure wires stereos and this oh d you must do good damage then okay uh well so i'll be back whenever we get to finishing these last two characters i probably might work on another character that's like really cheap being nezuko just because of this passive right here and she's also on you so i see hella good potential with her so i'll be back All right, so I should be able to evolve Kenjaku Demon after you know, crafting one of these. Should be able to evolve them. You have enough gold and everything. Yeah, 11 million gold because of like a little macro that I did. As you guys see, I'm not that high of a level and I don't have that many of the materials. I do have a lot of universal because I did convert a lot. But of course, this will take longer if you can't macro. Because you have to actually physically play the game, but I'm macroing so I can release the video out sooner. But this is the second piece to our main damage farming team completed. Perfect. Our despair character is done. So next up would honestly be um Noel. Noel being our last character for damage farming, and then I just have to do story. Yep, I'm just gonna be purely on story. And then Nezuko, I need like four more stages. No, I'm done with her. So I'm just gonna probably just get these materials for Noel first, then start damage farming when I start doing the blue. So I'll be back whenever I get Noel done. Alrighty, alright, alright. Noel is done. Surprisingly, damage farming wasn't that bad. Because I already had Kenjaku Demon, thankfully. But the last piece of the puzzle. Oh well. Sorry, but I'm not dancing elegant. Okay, or just not let me finish reading. Thank you, game. <laughs> oh, Noel is finally done. Finally done. Finally, finally done. Did Max LB here and all that stuff? Oh, they made her lead better. Oh, she's a 125 lead now. It's actually really good. It's actually really good, Leo, I'm not gonna lie. The last step is story now. Actually, I do have one more character I can evolve also. Uh, there you go. Let's go. Humans are to be protected and saves. Oh, okay. You know, my processing speed is actually slow as hell. But Nezuko is done. Did also Max will be here. She is just here just for Demon Flame and she's on you. So whenever I'm stuck on dot stages, I just use her along with this girl. Because they combo really well together. So I'll be back whenever I get story done. Or I'll show you guys all the story stages. So see ya. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That is it. I'm done with story. Kind of crazy. But before I go, I'm going to show you guys the team formats for mostly, mainly just for the damage farming. 
Hey guys, so editor me or future tax here, just going to be talking about placements for damage farming and team formats. So after you guys follow through or follow along with the progression and got everything, mainly being these four characters, being Noel, Dark Flame Lover, Kenjaku Demon, and Idol. So for Idol, she's just your farm so you can afford everything. Crap, I'm about to die soon. So let me fix that up. I'm just using the youth team as an example for when I'm damage farming for Gojo. So, to start off, whenever you have the chance to place Noel, you want to place her around, or your first Noel, around this hill area and set her to last. You don't want to max upgrade her, you just want to get her to upgrade 6 so she can cover this area. If you have a range buffer like Senku or anyone else, she could reach this entire area. But if you can't get her there, just place her over here. But still, I would just recommend placing her over there just because she has more coverage. Because you have this Noel that you set on nearest and max out maximize the circle aoe and then your third noel can be over here or right over this hill on that corner so either this corner or that corner so whatever corner you pick you still just want to put her on nearest and set her to last or not to last to nearest so you can place her on this corner or here then lastly you can place your last noel whatever wherever this noel is just there just to cover for whatever noel is lacking and then you have Kenjaku demons so you really just need to place two of them and you can place them anywhere that have, that they can cover like most most of the track since he is full AoE. You don't want to max him out or max him out to this upgrade where it says new passive demon flame because you do want to keep this despair application onto him. Same thing with the other Kenjaku demon. You just have him right there. So with just Deadeye, you have enough coverage with just two to cover the entire map. So you can place your last one and just set him to the middle and just put him on the demon flame upgrade. And then Dark Flame Lover, you can just place him on top of Jaku demons and just bring them to upgrade seven or max them out if you have enough money but I would just recommend upgrade seven so you have extra money to place down your main dps being your leader slot or damage farming character that you want to farm on and then your second slot either being your main carry or character that you want to damage farm so for gojo since i'm using him as an example he is a line aoe on max so i do want to place him on the track where he can cover most of the lane, like maximize his line AoE to get more coverage. Place him down and just max them out. Since he is a four placement, you just want to group them together just to maximize damage. So yeah, that's mainly all the placements, everything that you need to know about this damage farming format. Not really hard to know, just really just placing things, optimizing coverage for debuffs and everything should be fine. So as you can see, Gojo is just going crazy right now. And since he doesn't have a time stop, I do have a stall, which is Power Reaper for Rewind. Also there for DPS as well. But that's mainly it. So that's all for the video. Peace.